Welcome to another edition of Northern Heat. My name is Bob Lennon, President of Thermal Heat Canada, host for the show. And today, Don Matherson is our special guest here. And Don, you're involved with the uh, New Brunswick Youth Orchestra, the Sistema program. And uh, this year, you're celebrating a pretty special time. We Tell are, us a little bit. We are, Bob. Thank you for the invitation. We're, uh, the New Brunswick Youth Orchestra was founded in 1965. So we are now celebrating our 60th year of 60 years performing uh orchestral music inspiring children and youth to reach the potential through learning and performing orchestral music so last friday night you had your first uh event if i can call it that down here in moncton and you're planning on moving it around the province and doing tell us a little bit about what that's all about we are in order to help us celebrate 60 years of uh youth orchestral achievements, we've planned a series of galas. So we'll have a gala dinner about a few weeks before each of our scheduled rec uh, concert weekends. And we started in, in Moncton. Uh, November 2nd, we're going to be doing a gala event, a gala dinner event at the Rod Miramichi River Resort in Miramichi. And then two weeks later, uh, middle of November, we'll have uh, concerts on Saturday evening, November the 16th, and Sunday afternoon, November the 17th. And um, on the Miramichi or here in Moncton? In Miramichi. Ah, Concerts okay. In Miramichi at the Carrefour Beau Soleil. Okay. Um, Miramichi has been a great, great, uh, it's become one of our homes. The New Brunswick Youth Orchestra now operates 10 system in New Brunswick centers across the province. Miramichi is a thriving center with a great team of teaching artists led by Carlos Armao, our center director. Mm -hmm. And um, as you know, last season, it was our turn to be up in the peninsula and up to Bathurst. Yes. Uh, thanks again for the great uh, promotion and hosting our, our packed uh, concerts in Trakadie and Bathurst. But it's our turn this season to come back to Miramichi, and it's very exciting. Um, this season, the orchestra has prepared under the direction of our maestro, Antonio Delgado. Uh, we've been preparing for about three years what Tony uh, branded as the Titan Project. And that's an, an in-house name for preparing to perform one of the great masterworks of Gustav Mahler. Um, he's going to be performing Symphony Number no. 1 from Gustav Mahler. And um, as far as we know, it's never been performed in New Brunswick before by either professional or amateur or youth orchestras. So uh, it, it's all or nothing this season. It's the 60th anniversary. Wow. We're, we're, Come big or stay home, as they say. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about the the uh, these galas because um, I came down to it last uh, last Friday night with my wife and and uh, I was totally impressed about how you showed the evolution of of the kids and and going all the way through. So throw in some more details. In I there. will. Thank you. Uh, a number of people have have brainstormed how we can best. Uh, highlight, showcase, illustrate the what we call the NBYO ecosystem. We now have children starting as young as grade one, right up through the elementary school and into their middle years in high school. So at each of our galas, we are we're welcoming a young ensemble of Sistema New Brunswick children, perhaps among our young elementary mm -hmm. school age. We're also showcasing our middle uh, intermediate. Uh, uh, youth orchestras or regional youth orchestras and in Miramichi we're very proud to have a, a very strong Miramichi youth string orchestra so uh, we can we can illustrate in uh, uh, at the galas we can illustrate our youngest our intermediate and then our senior most uh, New Brunswick youth orchestra our most seasoned youth orchestra members but in addition to that these galas are an opportunity for us to showcase some of our teaching artists our professional musicians exactly. And you would have seen at Friday's gala, we had a, a lovely uh, brass quintet. Uh, we'll have a, we'll have a, some of our professionals perform at the gala in Miramichi. And part of the program at the gala banquet, the dinner itself, uh, will include performances, a number of performances by what this year we've dubbed our uh, 60th anniversary NBYO Chamber Orchestra. So 35 of our members will, of our, of our New Brunswick Youth Orchestra members will be performing a, a series of different uh, pieces. 
to delight the audience and uh, tease them about what they might see if they come to the big show with our full orchestra of 115 members. So it's not just a meal, <laughs> you know, because, you know, last Friday night, as we walked into the lobby of the hotel, here was the young people from Sistema. We went up the stairs and now you've got the, uh, the stringed uh, uh, instruments that were there with the intermediate group that you mentioned a while ago. And then you went in like, it was just, it was continuous all over the place. And then once the meal was being served, you had your brass section that were playing in the background very quietly. You could hear them. And then it was, it was absolutely beautiful. But you also, at the same time, uh, talked about the program and what had happened over the last 60 years and, and stuff. Our new, our new president, Ken Mainville, has a, a fantastic pedigree as, a, as the leader of our, our new leader of the New Brunswick Youth Orchestra and System New Brunswick programs. I look around the room here. And on, the, on his desk and on the wall, you can see portraits of his daughter. Uh, uh, Lydia um, Mainville was with me the day that we recruited our very first Sistema kids at four schools in, in St. John, New Brunswick, when she was a member of the NBYO. Um, she, came, she went on to become a teaching artist with Sistema New Brunswick. Um, so, so Ken comes with a background, not just a business background and a fundraising background, but with a re very strong family musical uh, pedigree and interest. So we're delighted. He he sketched for the gala audience some of what the mission, vision, values of the NBYO have been mm -hmm. for 60 years. And we seized the occasion also to recognize um, in each community where we stage a gala, we're going to recognize a dedicated champion, someone that's been a true believer and a true supporter of the NBYO. In, in, and we have supporters in many different flavors. Some uh, are quietly behind the scenes, uh, uh, providing support in kind. And, and many have been generous, generous financial contributors to help us uh, sustain a program that now reaches uh, 1,200 children across the province in 10 centers, uh, really five days a week, three hours a day yeah. with orchestral music outreach. So. Um, What's what people remark about at these events, Bob, and, and you're a perfect example. Each time we talk, we talk about showcasing the kids, showcasing the life changing transformation that they undergo Absolutely. as part of the community yeah. of Sistema New Brunswick and the youth orchestra. And um, there's not a dry eye in the house uh, at some of these performances when you get to see the kids play with such confidence and such skill. And uh, really, world class entertainment uh, and and uh, skills that they can transfer laterally throughout the rest of their lives in whatever uh, path they follow. But their performances are, are just, you know, incredible. Yeah. You know that the young girl that started off the other day. Had, somebody told me she was eleven years old, but she looked like she was more like five or six because of her height. <laughs> and she played the trumpet and and in, in beautiful and fanfare. And yeah. Into the into the room, it was just absolutely incredible. Another, they they do inspire. Yes. They're, we're inspiring them, but they're inspiring us every yeah. day. Even even sitting with you here in, in in Ken's office at our Sistema Center in, in Moncton, you and I can hear the the, the horns yeah. in the background, or or the yeah. or the strings in in yeah. rehearsal, or watch the buses pulling in, or the buses the pulling up with kids. Yeah. So it's a dynamic, uplifting atmosphere. Um, we often say, I often promise three things uh, for any performance event that we do with the NBYO or any of our system in New Brunswick uh, orchestras. I promise that people are going to be moved. Anyone such as yourself who's toured, who visited or have seen a performance, and if you know the backgrounds of some of the children we're serving, our goal is to serve as many of the underserved children as we have capacity to serve each year in, in our programs. So you, you can't help but be moved. The second promise is that you're going to be amazed because you can be touched in your heart by what you see in here, but you can be amazed by the caliber, the quality, the, the performance excellence mm -hmm. that's on display. And then that third promise, of course, is that we pretty much guarantee everybody's going to be and be proud of what they see in here. Yeah. No, it, 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 you're absolutely right. The other thing, too, that I want to touch on, because 
we talk about fundraising, but this is all about fundraising. It's all about everybody getting behind this and mm-hmm. trying to help out as a sponsor. And, and, you know, this event also was a fundraising event through the whole thing. You know, people can buy tickets or they can buy a table and, and whatever. So, um, how do they, for the event in the Miramichi or any other events, how do they get their tickets? Well, people can find tickets for any of our NBYO events by simply going to nbyotickets.com. You can okay. do a search on, on, on your favorite browser and it'll take you right to a, a page on the internet where our upcoming events will be on display. Click on it and it'll take you right to an Eventbrite page where you can acquire tickets. Um, and and we have many generous sponsors uh, who are contributing uh, tables for the gala. Our, our generous hosts, uh, we have the three deltas in Moncton, Fredericton, and St. John that will be hosting our galas. And in Miramichi, the Rod Miramichi River, one of our favorite resorts in the province, is hosting the, the dinner to help make it possible for us to raise funds to support our tour program, what we're doing with the NBYO, and of course, back to and so much sustained by our system in New Brunswick uh, youth. Yeah, because it's not cheap. No. Yeah. Instruments it's... aren't cheap. Even the other night they announced that you had just got, somebody had donated a uh, an instrument, and I'm not sure if it was the tuba Contra or bassoon. The, the bassoon, and $60,000. Yeah. I... We were blessed. You can see in the wall, in the window display, the Dr. Mark and Mary Peter, uh, Mary and Mark Peterson Instrument Bank. Uh, these are, uh, this was a generous contribution that Dr. Mary and Mark uh, spearheaded to support our, our some of our, our finest uh, instrument uh, principals, some of our senior most New Brunswick youth orchestras with professional caliber instruments, ones that they could never imagine affording uh, as, as personal instruments. And these, this instrument bank is now helping us showcase the, the very best of our youth orchestra members in the very best performances around around the province and across the the region across the country, um, so yes, the uh, instrument bank is a way of us putting our kids' best efforts on on display for the public. Yeah, you hear the kids in the background; they just started up. And they're getting <laughs> out of the buses and start start up. Uh, another element of the the galas that I uh, you may I'm sure you noticed. Um, We've had a partner now for going on 20 years. Rich Gould has been our graphics design and uh, partner. He's helped us create a video montage of memorabilia, old programs, uh, crests, press clippings from over 60 years of NBYO performances in, in, in New Brunswick, across Canada, and around the world. That's a brief little video. Uh, I call it a a video virtual tour mm. across 60 years yeah. of um, um, uninterrupted uh, orchestral brilliance. And the other thing that's a display that the audience seemed to be quite captivated by, in 2012, the New Brunswick Youth Orchestra, with our great friends from St. John Hemings House Pictures, uh, did a, a high-definition, high-quality uh, video filming of a performance of Mambo Popuri. Oh, yes. The great Latin yeah. piece. Yeah. Mambo Popuri is the single most watched uh, video that the New Brunswick ever, New Brunswick Youth Orchestra ever produced. It's been seen nearly 25 million times across the world yeah, on YouTube. That. Yeah. So um, it was hard to not tap the toes. And I think there are probably a few people at the gala that were tempted to get up and dance, mm-hmm. including our good friend Larry Nelson. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But uh, no, it's it's pretty impressive of what you guys are doing. And listen, you've been uh, you told me you've been involved now for 17 years in the uh, uh, with this whole association and the work that you do. Part of the Northern Heat is you know recognizing people that are cranking up the heat and doing things a little bit more than normal. And I think that that you and the whole organization definitely fit into that. And there's a token of our appreciation. I'd like to give you uh, a hat. And only people that are on the show get the hat. So now Ken Mayville, Ken McLeod are going to be maybe a little bit jealous because they've been on the show and they didn't get one yet. But uh, this is uh, just a little uh, show of, of our appreciation for all the work that you're doing. And I want to thank you very much for, for all of this. And thank you very much for pulling me into this uh, this uh, group too because it's uh, 
you know, it's just amazing what uh, what the kids are doing and what uh, your objective is around all of this stuff. So thank you again for, for all your work. Thank you, Bob. I, I, I assure you, none of this would be possible without Earth Angels, people like yourself that support what we do, believe what we believe in what we do. And I invite anybody and everybody, uh, once you've seen Systema New Brunswick, or the New Brunswick Youth Orchestra in performance. There's no turning back. You will, you'll want to come again and again and again. So we look forward to seeing people in uh, the Miramichi November 2nd for our uh, gala dinner event at the Rod Miramichi River Resort. And then on November 16th and 17th at Carrefour Bosale, beautiful amphitheater to see the largest ever New Brunswick Youth Orchestra performing the first ever masterwork of Gustav Mahler that's ever been performed live in New Brunswick. Well, looking forward to seeing you there at the concert. I'll see you there. There we are. Thanks. So there we have it. Another edition of Northern Heat for this week. Place you come to and listen to the stories that haven't been discovered yet.